going guys, it's me, Fortnite Base Football, and today we're going to be playing some Village, Resident Evil. Let's get right into it. We make it nice and easy, so it's actually enjoyable. So yeah. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Wow, that was pretty interesting. So yeah, it's this is Resident Evil. What more you took, but... she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped. Yeah, this is... Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. What's up, bro? Um, so yeah, this is Resident Evil. Um, today we were playing um, a pretty good portion of it. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, the graphics are looking pretty good. I heard a lot about this game. I've had it for like, I got it like last year, as soon as it came out. I just decided not to play it until now, so. It's pretty interesting so far. So yeah, let's take this baby down upstairs. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. The dad knows what he's on. Sent this man like went through all the torture. Let's go in the bathroom. That's right. We we'll put him in here. Go in. Go in. Okay, whatever. How about the toilet? Put him in the toilet. How about the sink? Sink. Okay, not in the sink. Uh, I think it's almost there, honey. Sheesh. That's cool. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Right, right. Oh. I'm gonna break some angles. Hey, oh, oh, oh! So, like I was saying, um, this is Resident Evil, um, part eight. Um, no, part nine, part eight or part nine? I can't recall. 
But this is Maya. She was like kind of like a zombie last um, last game. But yeah, so we were hunting her down because someone kidnapped her, and apparently that was her family. So see, we got a crazy family. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de legum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. <sighs> it's just... Finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving Why us here. That... No. Hold, okay, hold on. Why is that wine so thick? Why? Like, it looks like that thing. It was like from last game, that black goodness. That was creepy. Let's see. Terry training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously? be. Seriously? Think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just I don't understand why you are so. <sighs> That's right. Mia, get down. Mia. Oh. She just got shot for no reason. Okay, that's kind of weird. This guy's a good guy. If you guys remember, this is uh, the, the cop that saved us last time. What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Why are they taking our baby? Or the baby? Bro, it's the baby, bro. The baby. Okay, um, so yeah. I'm gonna try finding this guy. Chris's name, I think. Yeah. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. No problem. <laughs> we'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look. She's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan. You matter. You just Mia. What are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. So make sure you guys subscribe, like this video if you want more. Resident Evil. So far, let's get 10 likes on this video and I will make a part 2 of this video. That fun story. Jesus. The graphics are amazing on this. What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off the map. Fuck. 
these look, guys look like they burnt up. How can we get them burnt up? What the hell happened to you? Cool. It's creepy. I like the shadowing on it. This game so far, pretty cool actually. This guy got his arm cut off. Um, last game, Resident Evil 7. Okay, yeah, this is the eighth part then. But yeah, this man got his arm cut off, and somehow, all oh, out of a sudden, yeah, his arm can reconnect. Weird. And all his fingers. I remember that. Oh god, the scare okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh my god, that scared me. How do you know that was gonna be something that so scared me so badly? Oh, oh god. Oh, that scared me. I have my mic at full volume, so right now I'm like, oh gosh. I I could hear everything, so slightest movement can scare me. Like we're in some type of house. Let's hope we're not here. Every time you see basement, you know it's bad news. That's so weird. And we'll keep going. Seems like it's pretty scary. Let's open this right now. Let's see. What's in here? Dude, why you scared the rat? That was medicine. Oh, great. What do you look after? Okay. What just happened? What just happened? I just like that. to go outside, but okay. Well, we should be running this game. Of 
post date time now. That's good. Um, hope you guys enjoy this video. Hope you guys leave a like and subscribe to my new YouTube channel. The link in the, is in our comments. And yeah, um, like if you want part two, by the way. And yeah, look at all this. Hell am I? I'm gonna buy some type of like village. That horse. Look at all this. This is the eighth part, by the way. This is after um, Resident Evil Seven Biohazard, I think it's called. What happened? Like, this is weird. I have no idea what happened to this. I heard this game is pretty good, so I started decided to play it. Sent you. Nobody. There was an accident down on the road and what's going on? Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! I saw the gun now. Pew pew pew! pew, pew. Hey, are you listening? Hey! What the? more It happened again, like the seventh part. What the fuck was that? I lost the fan again. No, see it back. What the hell? Look at this dude. Well, T back in this man. Look at this man. Look at this dude. Look, what's the dog doing? What's the dog doing? In this case, what's the monster doing? Die. 
see if we can get a hundred likes on the video. Be amazing. I'm supposed to go. Okay, just I don't have anything. The cutters on here. Ammo, 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 I need ammo right here. Bro, this man got a pistol without having any ammo. We tried four of them. Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my to Louisa's house near the fields. Who they survivors? Let's go. Get out of here. Come on, come on. This is considered a horrible horror game, by the way.
There's no end to them. It's like a box fight. Did I die?
Okay, let's go. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Rose is here? Okay, guess we get to the It's gonna be around a 40 minute video by the way. So I would appreciate it if you like the video. Okay, let's go. Guess this leads to the castle. Got one. Oh, there's one more. Somewhere. Puzzle. So this is why I kind of like these games. I feel like the horror ones because I like horror and uh, and I like puzzles. So I'm not gonna be able to get to there. Let's be somewhere around. I was inside that house over there, wherever it is. There's an other side to it, so I'm gonna go that way. Let's go. Wait, let's go up here. I guess I know I do. Pick lock or something. Okay. So, here. Another side. Oh, 
coisas, cara. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house. And she's not answering and the gate is locked. Quiet girl. He's an outsider. Oh. Shit, we're sitting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh, house. Quiet. There must be a way inside. Stay here. Be quiet. And don't move until I get those gates open. <coughs> Finally, shotgun. And eh, not enough. Come on, it's clear. Uh, hurry, hurry. <sighs> Took your damn time. That took me like two minutes. He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here, won't we? Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? We have to get inside. Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up, it's me, Elena! Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Julian, calm down. Who's this? A friend. Stay back. <laughs> Father, for God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. But that's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now. These people are our friends. Go on. Go inside. Come now. This way. You're not from this village. Uh, no. I'm Ethan. Julian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! Well, if 
Elena trusts you? Then so do I. Come inside, Ethan. Wait here. I'll check on the others. Yeah, that's cool. What is that? Wow, he just... He just, like, ditched me. You guys want to read this? Inside, the others are waiting. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed. Quiet, Anton. He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. Is this all that's left from your entire village? All that's left. All that's left. There is no one left. A worthless. Invalid, a stupid, wailing bitch, and you, you drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing and expect to be all safe. There is no safe. Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. But tomorrow, tomorrow we're we'll all be dead. Just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana! That's enough! This house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, they kept coming. Wait, Louisa, and... where is your husband? Did they? No, N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. He, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's, that's it. He, he went to fetch help. Let us pray for him, for all of us. Good idea. Come. Great ones, hear our voice. Together as one in reverence, we call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. In life and in death, we give you glory, Mother Miranda. Now, the tea should be ready. Come help me, Elena, please. That prayer, I've heard it before. There was an old woman near the graveyard. <laughs> you mean the hag? Some bitch is crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her as it shall protect us. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Leonardo, what's wrong? Are you okay? No! <laughs>
Okay. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, father. Hey. Hey. That wasn't your father anymore. You did the right thing. <laughs> Elena. Elena, no. There's nothing you can do. Papa! This entire place is collapsing. <laughs> You couldn't save him. He was already gone. Leave me alone. No, we're getting out of here. Together. I gotta get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed, like this video. Uh, subscribe for more like this. And yeah, see you guys next time. This is a cliffhanger, so make sure you guys like, subscribe, and yeah. See you guys next time. Peace.